The Hammond postulate is often used by organic chemists trying to understand how organic reactions happen. To deal with the dilemma they face, what is the structure of the transition state? We need to know the structure of the transition state because it's the stability of the transition state that determines the activation energy. Factors that stabilize the transition state will lower the activation energy because there'll be a smaller hump. And Hammond said, well, we can't know what the transition state structure is because it has such a short lifetime. Energetically, as at the peak of that hump, it will quickly go in one direction or the other. So we can't study it exactly, but let's assume that the structure of the transition state resembles either the reactant or the product, whichever is most closely related to energetically. The reasoning is simple. As a reaction takes place, there's bond making and bond breaking, and therein lies changes in energy. So if energetically two things are similar, there probably has been little bond making and bond breaking. And when things are quite different energetically, there probably has been more bond making and bond breaking. So, well, let's just assume the trans transition state looks a lot like whichever it is that energetically it's closely related to. In most cases, it will be the diagram that we see here, endothermic reactions, that is applicable when we're applying the Hammond postulate. And because we're talking about reactions that are either exothermic or endothermic, Hammond's postulate is often stated in those terms. So take a look at these two cases. This is an endothermic reaction, and the transition state resembles products. The transition state is much more closely related in energy to the product than the reactant. In an exothermic reaction, you see that the energy of the reactants is much closer to the transition state than the energy of the products. And so Hammond's postulate tells us transition state resembles reactant. It's simple-minded thinking that offers clear insight into a dilemma that otherwise we'd have a hard time addressing. The Hammond postulate will use it rather frequently when we're trying to understand how reactions happen and the energetics of those processes.